if you caught us in our previous video, we were talking about um, assisted living options and really kind of what's out there. But I think the biggest thing is, how am I gonna actually pay for assisted living? And um, you know, a lot of times we tell our clients that you can expect a range from anywhere between three and $10,000, I would say, if not upwards within the state of Massachusetts. And I don't know about you, but I've never met someone that says, oh great, $7,000 a month. That's exactly what my social security mm -hmm. pension is. It's mm -hmm. just not the reality. And the second and biggest question too is, how am I even gonna pay for this? Absolutely. Absolutely, it's really overwhelming and daunting. And actually that's the reason most uh, people halt and freeze in the process, mm -hmm. is just thinking about the numbers and that this isn't viable, it's not gonna work. But what most people don't understand is that assisted living is typically less expensive than any other option, whether it be skilled nursing or staying home with full-time care is actually more expensive. So today we're gonna dive into a little bit the funding sources and how people actually pay for this option. So I think as Erin mentioned, there's a lot of different resources or sources that can go into paying for assisted living. Um, we will typically ask folks, what is your monthly income? Do you have additional assets? Do you have a home that you live in and you're looking to sell? Veterans benefits for those folks that have served for our country. There are a lot of great veterans benefits that I think are a little bit of a hidden secret to a lot of folks that have, um, and that can qualify for that benefit. Long-term care insurance, what does your policy look like? Do you need assistance with some of your activities of daily living, truly understanding what your policy has um, written and how you can uh, utilize that policy as soon as possible. And also every state is different with the subsidy programs in which they offer, but here in Massachusetts and I'm sure in other parts of the country, there are some local state subsidized assisted living programs um, that are usually income and asset based. But if you're, as we've talked about in previous videos, if you're working with a qualified elder law attorney or financial planner, uh, there's ways to put these uh, plans in place to have additional resources available. One thing that's a big kind of hot button now in elder uh, resource discussion is Medicaid, what's called Medicaid annuities, which are ways to take the liquid sale of maybe a home or another investment and have it put into guaranteed income as a revenue stream to help cover the cost of assisted living. So a lot of people will look at, oh, $7,000 a month, my income will never cover that. No one's income typically will cover that. We're looking at all of these different funnels, um, as Lauren said, long-term care insurance, the veteran aid and attendance benefit, the sale of a home or maybe some other investments that can be liquid. Um, so we're really, again, looking to work with our clients to find out what are their specific needs um, to make targeted recommendations on the right assisted living to meet their needs, but then help them put a plan together to pay for the cost of care. And going back to our other uh, segments as well, this is where your professionals, such as your elder law attorneys and your financial planners um, can really help you put a plan into place to understand all of the different aspects that you have as part of your 